I want that you we are a special greetings today and I want that you help me and you repeat after me good morning my friends how are you Love greetings from the school. Love greetings from the school. Repeat. We will try our best to be good friends. Good morning, my friends. How are you? And let's sing together. Good morning, my friends. How are you? Love greetings from the school. We will try our best to be good friends. Good morning, my friends. How are you? We will try our best to be good friends. Good morning, my friends. How are you? So let's go together and put some special signs. Good morning, my friends. How are you? Love greetings from the school. Let's try our best to be good friends. Good morning, my friends. How are you? Dan, I can hear you. Good morning, my friends. How are you? Love greetings from the school. Let's try our best to be good friends. Good morning, my friends. How are you? Now, let's go do together. Good morning, my friends. How are you? Love greetings from the school. Let's try our best to be good friends. Good morning, my friends. How are you? Excellent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, I invite you to pray together this prayer of thanksgiving for the beautiful school we have, for the staff, uh, director, principal, teachers, all of you, your parents, and the whole community. And this year is going to be beautiful. So let's pray in this Holy Eucharist that the Holy Spirit come upon you, and you will learn a lot and serve the church, the community, your families, and yourself. Let's pray for the intentions of the Pope Francis, for the needs of our parish, the needs of our school, as well for the whole universe and for the special intentions of uh, this day uh, of Jan Fiore and the intention of each one of us. Let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by command of God our Savior and of Christ Jesus our hope, to Timothy, my true child in faith, 
grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to him who has strengthened me, Christ Jesus our Lord, because he considered me trustworthy in appointing me to the ministry. I once was a blasphemer and a persecutor and an arrogant man, but I have been mercifully treated because I acted out of ignorance in my unbelief. Indeed, the grace of our Lord has been abundant, along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into the pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splendor in your brother's eyes, but do not perceive the wooden being in your own? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove that splinter in your eyes when you do not even notice the wooden being in your own eye? You, hypocrite, remove the wooden being from your eye first. Then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, the scripture invites us to, to think about our lives uh, in our parish, 
the school is very important. Each one of you are very important. As well, the whole community. And the first reading mentions something that we should think about. And that was the letter from St. Paul to Timothy. Timothy was St. Paul's disciple. And who are the eighth graders? Raise your hands. Do we have eighth graders here? No. And, and who, who is your teacher this year? I want to think about, and, and you, not only for the eighth graders, but for each one of you, for each class. St. Paul, tell us today how he loved Timothy, because he was his disciple. Each one of the teachers of the school, they love you as an Paul loved Timothy. And Timothy always listened to him. He traveled with him. He helped St. Paul to organize communities. And the message from St. Paul to you is this year, let's work together with your teachers, with your parents, with your classmates. And we can have a great year. Because St. Paul said, I'm sorry, God. I persecute the church because of my ignorance. I didn't know what I was doing. I was trained in different ways. But Jesus called him and changed his life. And he brought to him the truth. And this is what we in the gospel repeat. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. And it's easier. You're going to learn a lot of stuff from science. And your teachers, they are trained to do that. The only request from, me, from you is be open, be active. You are very smart. You can be a great person, but that depends on you. You follow Jesus. You listen to our teachers. You listen to our parents you will be successful in life and enjoy life. St. Francis is a great uh, apostle of Jesus, and we belong to St. Francis of Assisi, and he listened to the Word of God. The best teacher for us, Jesus. And your teachers and each one of us, we try to follow Jesus. And this is the advice that we receive from the gospel today. Jesus also has made stories to tell us beautiful truths to live upon. Can a blind person guide another blind person? It's difficult. Even though technology helps us today. And we are students we are learning, and in some way, we are blind. But when we are open, we learn the truth. We learn science. I remember when I was a small child like you, I went to school. My school teacher was Blanca. And Blanquita was a beautiful teacher. But at night, I asked my father, can you help me? Because I was trying to learn how to read. 
but I couldn't put together this stuff. But I listened to Blanca, my teacher. I listened to my father who helped me. And I was so proud when I could read the newspaper. He said, that's nice for me. And it's a blessing to have teachers that love the mission. And we, in our school, we have teachers like St. Paul. He was so proud to spread the good news. And Timothy was a good disciple. And each one of you I invite this year to follow the example of Timothy. Be a good student. Be a good disciple of the Lord. Be open to learn. Because science is so huge that you have to learn, especially in this time. Technology is so important. And you are welcome to learn that beautiful field of science as well to learn about God, to learn about Jesus, our best teacher, to learn about St. Paul, who is telling us, I love Timothy. I love the best for Timothy. And St. Paul recognized, I persecute the church. As human, I made mistakes, but I review. And God called me to change my life and I changed my life. So the example we receive from St. Paul, be humble, be open to learn as teachers, follow the example of St. Paul. As students, follow the example of Timothy, who was a good disciple of Jesus and a good disciple of Paul. Are you willing this year to follow those examples of Jesus, St. Paul, and Timothy? Please rise. Sisters and brothers, I invite you to present to God the needs of our parish community, our school, our diocese, the universal church, and the whole world. That the church will faithfully tend to the word of God, listening ever more closely for God's callings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the nations will strive for peace and justice, especially the especially with the anniversary of 9-11 coming up. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are lonely will find solace and love and attentive relationships. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That all gathered here will know God's promised presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intention of John Fewer, for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear that all who have died will live eternally in the presence of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Heavenly Father, thank you for listening to our prayers and help us to follow the example of Jesus, the example of Timothy, to be good disciples, good students, good parents, good parents, grandparents. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
brothers, sisters, and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and peace, graciously grant that through these offerings we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithful, united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you create the human race, so also through him with great goodness you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too exalt you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a downfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entering willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop Robert, all the bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the lives of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, St. Francis of Assisi, we may merit to be coherents of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await for the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, peace I leave you my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord will be thee always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui toli peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui toli peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui toli peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endowed with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We'll do the final blessings and then the school will leave and then we will have the exposition of the Holy Sacrament. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And have a wonderful day. And this just as a reminder that the church will be closed next week, all week. The daily mass will be out in the outside sanctuary and to park out that, that side because these gates will be closed. Thank you. O salutaris hostia, que cheripan dis hostium, vela premut hostilia, dono Trino que domino, sit sempite na gloria, qui vitam sit et mino, nobis donet in patria.